Tier 4 is an emission standard regulated by the United States Environmental Protection Agency, US EPA. And it's basically a, a standard that sets near zero emission output, really focusing on particulate matter, oxides of nitrogen, non-methane hydrocarbon, uh, carbon monoxide. These are all important uh, emission components that really have an impact on our environment. Tier 4 compliance is now mandatory in locations that have not yet attained EPA air quality standards. This means there are places where you simply cannot operate water jet units powered by Tier 3 engines. The change of what's going on with the emissions in the EPA with the Tier 4 final now is something that's going to be completely transitioned within the next couple of years. So contractors and people and customers for NLB out there are going to be purchasing these things regardless in the very near future. Operating a unit that is not Tier 4 certified, essentially using an older non-compliant unit in a location where it's required, puts the owner operator at risk of fines in the amount of $37,500 per violation. Tier 4 final right now is, is primarily being implemented in the U.S., uh, Canada, and the European Union. Uh, Japan seems to also be following suit. There are certain states right now that are, are mandating Tier 4 final engines. California is a good example of that. We've already seen many of the larger manufacturing customers moving firmly into Tier 4 compliance practice. It's these companies that are requiring Tier 4 engines on units that come into their facilities. There's definitely some opportunities for contract bidding uh, for these customers to, to promote the fact that they're eco-friendly, they're running Tier 4 final engines. There are some jobs and some local governments that are mandating Tier 4 final. So this will give those customers that are on the, the, the head of the learning curve the, the opportunity to bid those jobs and maybe have the advantage over a customer that's running a Tier 3 engine. Likewise, a lot of our customers do business across the entire United States. Some of the other states out in the, in the West Coast have already adopted Tier 4 final as the only option available. So for customers that are looking to transfer units across fleets, it's the only product they should really purchase at this point. While the move to Tier 4 final standards is an EPA mandate, it's important to realize that there are also added benefits to the owner financially. The initial purchase cost of a Tier 4 engine will be higher, but because the engine is running more efficiently, the owner will actually realize a net gain cost savings over time, and that payback can be as low as 1,000 hours. We have uh, six branch offices around the country. Those branch offices have qualified service technicians that have now learned the process, they've learned the, the engines, they understand what it takes to, to make these things work, to repair them, they understand how to debug them in the field, so that when our customers have questions, which they still often will, we're in a position to answer those questions with a lot of confidence. We strongly believe and know that NLB is out in front of the, uh, the industry in terms of being able to provide this technology. Part of that comes from not only the collaborative effort with our OEM engine suppliers, but what we've done with putting the units with Tier 4 engines on them into our rental fleet. We have over 100 of these units out in our rental fleet now. We have tremendous amount of hours of test time on them, so we understand exactly how they're operating. We've had a, a very strong working relationship with the engine OEMs that has allowed us to have meetings where we've spent time and actually gone through the design process collectively. The collaboration between NLB and Michigan CAT has been going on for close to four to five years now. They were one of our first as well to migrate to Tier 4 final. They were kind of ahead of the learning curve compared to most of our other OEMs. At the end of the day, NLB uh, was very instrumental in helping Caterpillar come up with specific ratings and also engine specifications that they needed on their engines uh, to be competitive and successful in their marketplace. NLB had definitely made the commitment to commit earlier to Tier 4 final. In tier 4 interim, for that matter, back when it was implemented in 2011-2012. And so the great thing about that is that NLB has a lot of experience. As new technology comes out, NLB will continue to be the technical leader as we always have been and will continue to help drive the technology for the OEMs going forward.